guys welcome back to my channel my name is Nikita D and today I'm going to be doing a crochet video so I've been seeing people like do videos of how much I could crochet in 24 hours the first person I saw do it was um Anna I think her name was like Kalajian I don't know how to pronounce it sorry but um I'll link her video down below I was, that's the first person I saw do it and then I've seen like another a lot of other like crochet um youtubers do it also um, and I've seen people do 12 hours, so that's what I'm going to do because 24 hours is a drag. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing that today. The time is, well, I need to, I don't even have my watch with me. It's 12.44, so I'm really going to start at 1. And, yeah, I should have started earlier, but I don't wake up early, so. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got. So I have a lot of like acrylic yarn, like cheap acrylic yarn that I just wanna like use up because I've been seeing everybody get all this expensive yarn. Baby, I'll pack them all here on and out. Like I've watched like knitters and stuff and they always have some fancy yarn. I'm like, I wanna, I wanna dive into that realm of fanciness, you know? So I, um, yeah i want to get rid of all this yarn because i have so much of like acrylic yarn um from like when i first like from when i first got back into crocheting because i've been crocheting i learned how to crochet since i was like 13 and like i do it in waves like i crochet a lot and then i stop for years and i crochet a lot and stop for years but when i got back into it more recently i got so much yarn and I just, it's just a lot. I don't know what to do with all of it. So I'm trying to just make projects and it's not even like a scrap yarn. Like it's a, it's full, full like skein of yarn, full skeins of yarn that I really, is too much. So I'm gonna show you the colors I'm gonna work with. I like, when I work with stuff, I like working with color. Like that's the first thing I think about is color. Like what colors I'm gonna put together. So I'm gonna work with some fall colors today this is my color palette it's a little yellow but it's like a pumpkin pumpkin spice color palette okay um yeah it's just it's just acrylic yarn like basic acrylic yarn for michael's i want to make a sweater vest so i'm gonna make i want to make it multicolored, and i'm not sure if i want to make it cropped yet um, I might make it cropped because, yeah, yep. So I have these hooks. This is a five and a four point five. This is what I use the most, and yeah, I don't even have anything to measure with me. Usually, when I do stuff for myself, I just put it around me because, yeah. So let's just get started let's see like i think i could finish this in 12 hours like a sweater vest like a back panel a front panel and just like the trimmings like i feel like that's doable in 12 hours that is very doable especially if it's not oversized it's not like, gonna be oversized it's gonna be two sides and i'm like a size medium so i think 12 hours is adequate enough time to make a cropped sweater vest crochet at that like I might use double crochets. I usually use half double crochets, but I might use double crochets today. So we'll see how they go. So let's get started. All right, so it's around one o'clock now, so I'm gonna start. Um, I chained 50. I have to keep note of everything I make and like how many chains and stuff I make because I, I don't be remembering. So yeah, hopefully this is enough. Like, let's see. Let's just see. But I'm starting with this. Um, I'm starting with this dark brown color, and yeah, I'm just gonna do it randomly. Oh, what am I doing? Half double crochets, and I want to do. I don't want to do half double crochets. I want to do double. I'm so used to doing half double crochets. I just automatically do it. But I kind of want to finish this fast. So. 
yeah i'm not just gonna watch like knitting podcasts all day that's what i do when i crochet i just like watching other people crochet <clears throat> other people crochet or talk about crochet and knitting and i really want to get into knitting because i just love how the garments look how the stitches look and how like light i just like how the fabric looks when they do it it just looks so nice it's, just, it's so different from crochet and i really i feel like i prefer how the fabric comes out with knitting so i really want to get into it i tried it a little like i did a couple swatches and stuff um but i need like the right hooks so i'm gonna get that and i'm gonna make a sort of vest um i'm probably just gonna buy a pattern and make it and try to figure out how to do all that stuff because yeah i feel like when i tried it i mean i've been crocheting for a while so it's easier for me to crochet clearly than if i start something new but i feel like it takes longer to work something up than crochet because the stitches are just smaller and stuff and Yeah, I don't like stuff taking long, so I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that. And I just feel like it's harder. Like the motions of of knitting is just it's harder, and it's easier to like drop stitches and like miss a stitch and stuff and mess up. So I'm definitely not gonna get like really expensive yarn for like my first couple projects. But when I'm really good at that shit, it's over. It's really over. It's really over and it's fall now by christmas time i should be an expert please because but yeah i really do like watching crocheters and stuff and... and by the way i'm doing this like i i know a lot of people s start with the ribbing i don't like starting with the ribbing I like just making the garment first and then putting the ribbing on at the end. That's just my preference. Um, yeah, I don't like setting with the ribbing. It's just not for me. Um, yeah, I see like a lot of knitters do that too. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do the knitting. Or I see a lot of knitters start from the top down, which I've never done in my life. So, yeah. I feel like I'm going so slow. This might be a little small. I'm not starting over though, so let's do it. Should better stretch out because I'm done not starting over. But yeah, I'll I'll, I'll be back in like a couple of hours. Working on a weekend like usual Way off in the deep end like usual Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit your block up, I tell you if it was us Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush Say my day's a number, but I keep waking up Know you see my text, baby, please say something Wine by the glass, man, a cheapskate, huh? Niggas gotta move on my release day, huh? Bitch, this is fame, not clout. I don't even know what that's about. Watch your mouth. All right, y'all, so it's 157, so it's been about an hour. This is my progress in that hour. So I might have to make the back panel bigger because this yarn is not stretching as much as I thought it would. And I didn't really want it to be really tight, so I'm probably gonna. I chained 55. I mean, I changed 50, so I probably chained 55 for the back. I chained 50, then add two to start. So yeah, I have. I'm gonna add like five more to the back, so it won't like be like. But I could start decreasing at this point because I want it to be. I said I wanted to be clocked, so, I mean, yeah, I could start decreasing. Alright, cut just my boop. 
No, nah, I'm gonna I'm keep it cropped. And I, and I could... And I'm gonna make a ribbing too. This is not like the end of it. So yeah, I'm definitely... Because I should have been started decreasing, honestly. Like... Yeah, I'm gonna start decreasing on the road to like make the arm loops Just decrease on each side probably like every other row decrease i don't even know i'm not following no type of tutorial or nothing i'm just i like crocheting like that though i like crocheting just you know going with the flow type shit and just figuring it out other than like doing a strict pattern since i already know how to crochet i just like do my own shit um but yeah, I hate yarn that don't center pull. Like you look for the center pull and you can't find it and it's all tangled up. And I have to run like this stresses me out. Just have a center pull, like please. Like y'all have one job. Just do that. Like anyway, I'm gonna go back to um this. Maybe in the next like two hours I'll be done with the front panel and then I'll probably take three hours to the back panel. So it was like, yeah, um, I'll probably be done with this in like total six hours like everything from when I start and it's a 12 hour thing so I'll probably have to do two projects in this in this in this video so hopefully it's not gonna take me no 12 hours like this is it's just sort of rest I might make two sort of rest in this video let's see if that can happen that'll be wavy that'll be wavy because I have a lot of guys to use up so I could use my I can use my time like accordingly good that'll be good anyway look who came to join us did you come to help Nova did you come to help did you you came to help me Nova okay guys so it's it's 3.23, so it's been like around two and a half hours, right? I remember I said, I remember I said I wanted to do a crop sweater, but I was just crocheting and not paying attention, and I end up like crocheting all this. So it's not going to be cropped anymore. It's going to be like full length, but I'm trying to get the collar right, which I'm going to have to undo this part because I think I did it too close in the middle. So I'm going to... I'm gonna undo this yellow part and like do this patch smaller. No. I still feel like this might choke me. Like when I do, cause I want to do it kind of thick, so I might undo this too. I don't know. That's what happens when you don't use a pattern; you just do your own thing. Cause what? Like if I do like a half an inch thick, like. I think like this have to come up with more of a gradient and I'm not doing that right. So I'm gonna undo both of these cause I feel like it looks too square. It's not round enough. It needs to be more round. So I'm going to like decrease on every row, but then this strap will get so thin. Yeah, I'm gonna undo both of these and just think, but this is how the sun is just like, this is how it looks so far. The top part, I'm about to just undo these and then start, um, fix it and then start on my back panel. So let's see, I can do that in 30 minutes and that'll be a full three hours. And then I'll probably just take a little break, 15 minute break, and then come back and start my back panels. Uh, and then yeah okay so it's 344 and i just finished like correcting i did so this is this you know this is i still want at least like a half an inch of like the ribbing part just a half an inch i don't know or like three fourths of an inch or something like I did the same amount of stitches, but the brown is bigger because I guess the, the yarn is a little thicker or whatever, but it's okay. But yeah, this is looking really pumpkin spice. 
inspired so i'm gonna go take a break for a little bit eat something because i'm kind of hungry yeah then i'm gonna come through the back panel and then put it together see how it fits so i'll be back right now it's 4 22 i'm back from my little lunch break and i'm about to continue on with this um sweater so i'm about to do the back i think like i did 50 of this i think it's not that stretchy because of this yarn it's not as stretchy as this yarn as the other yarn so maybe if i use a different one on the bottom it will be better so i'm gonna start with a different color at the bottom so let's see i'm still gonna do 55 chains and then do my plus two for my um to start my double crochet i do plus two for half double and double crochet all right y'all now it's 5 18 it's been like an hour since i last um updated y'all and it's been four hours since i started so this is the back panel i'm actually liking these colors like together in the sequence i put it in here than i did in the front panel but it's too late to change because i'm not going to change the shape of the like scoop neck and the front panel to be a back panel it's too much work i'm not doing that but um i said i was going to chain 55 but i ended up chaining 60 just to make sure it's not too small because if it's too small then i'm very tight because i it's gonna be too much to like fix it and i'm not doing that so i'd rather it be too big and too small so um i'm gonna show you all the difference in like how it looks so this is okay this is the this is the front panel and then this is the back so yeah it's like you can see that that's how much bigger it is but um yeah hopefully it's still all good so yeah front which is still look cute but i just feel like the sequence of these colors oh, look at that candy corn it just looks so cute like so far so yeah this is the progress of my that hour since i came from my break it's the progress so yeah i'm tired i don't know why i'm tired already it's just the middle of the day like it's just five something I don't know why the hell I'm tired. I can't because I probably just ate, so I just you know tired from that. But it's four hours. I I said I was gonna do it for twelve hours. Yikes! Now I don't know about all of that because I have eight hours left. Maybe I change this shit to an eight hour, eight hour challenge because this this mess. I don't think I could be up for 12 hours doing this. Like my fingers, cause this is like acrylic. And these, some of these yarns are cheap yarns. Like I literally got this like <laughs> the same month I started like really crocheting. So I didn't really know anything about yarns and stuff. And I didn't really have experience with different yarns. So like some of these rims are really rough and hard and it's already bothering my finger. And I know it's gonna start callousing. Cause when I first started crocheting, my fingers were callousing so badly. First of all, I wasn't using the ergon ergonomic um, type of crochet hooks. I was using you know, all metal ones. And then these yarns just rubbing against my fingers. It's causing a lot. And I don't feel like going through that again. So. <sighs> Let's see. <coughs> so in two more hours, I should be done with this panel. And I should have it um, connected to the front panel and try it on, I guess. That's my goal for the next two hours. And then all there's left to do is do like the ripping and stuff, so. Or just a collar, I don't know if it's gonna be ribbed. I mean, ripping is nice, but. It's even more work to rib, like, I'm lazy. I don't know how I'm lazy and I have eight more hours of doing this. I never crochet like this i never just like 
go this long crocheting like i don't think i ever even sat for four hours straight and really crocheted like it's i really never do that i always do it in small batches like an hour maybe do but i never crochet for long periods of time like this because i don't think my fingers really enjoy that <sighs> but um let's just see where i get i'm the tired i must quit <laughs> all right y'all it is 7 42 so i finally finished my back panel show you it took longer than expected because i had some distractions in my house um and my finger like right here started bothering me too because this rough ass yarn but i really do like the front panel i mean the back panel more than the front panel just like i don't know but yeah this is the front so i'm gonna put it together now hopefully it fits well together i don't know because i was doing a whole different type of decreasing on each one i don't know what i'm doing honestly so like this armhole the big as hell is it i don't know i'm gonna put it together and try it on and see how it looks yeah i'm <laughs> Let's put this ish together. This is the back. This is the front. I actually really like the front now that I'm looking at it here. Like, okay, so let me try this on. Okay, so this still came out pretty well. I could stretch it down, but it's, it's, it's not a baggy fit, but it's still, it's like a top type thing and I'm glad that I made the back as big as I did because it would have been not able to fit if I didn't make it like that. But yeah, I'm going to put a little ribbing. I'm going to make the ribbon long because it's not, if it was like this, I think it would like the back. I think I should have just left it cropped. I think I should have just been like, but <laughs> yeah, this is how it is. I think it's a cute little top. Look in the mirror. I don't know if this is considered a sweater vest or not. Like, I don't know. So I'm seven hours in. Eight, nine, ten. So I have five hours left. So I'm gonna do this and then maybe I pick up another little project um, to do for the next like four and some hours because it's gonna take me a little time. So maybe like after I'm done this, I'll have probably like four, uh, four hours, 15 minutes maybe. And I'll start something else. And maybe I do something a little cropped in my next thingy. But yeah, I'm going to, do this and come back y'all so i'm done it's around nine o'clock right now um i just did i used a 4.5 hook on the body i used a five millimeter under like trims i used a 4.5 and i did half double crochets three rows of that around this is how it looks So yeah, that's how it looks. And it's at an awkward length because, I'll show y'all. It's kind of at an awkward length because this is my belly button. I thought it was longer, but it's not as long as I thought it was. So yeah, it's still kind of cropped. It's just like at an awkward length. So I don't know how to feel about that. It's not here, but it's not down here. It's like, it's like in the middle and it's weird. So yeah i'm about to take a little break and i'm about to start something else after my break but this is this is the final piece okay y'all so i'm back looking as crazy as ever like 
can be in the beginning of the video and now i'll just get crazy and crazier it's 10 one so um i took like another whole hour break but i feel like within all my breaks it's probably been like two hours break so it's not really going to be a genuine crochet for 12 hours straight but my i'm not trying to get arthritis and you know that'll be really like too much if i'm just like going at it for 12 hours so you know sometimes you gotta slow down and take a break because i'm a human being so yeah so i'm gonna show y'all again like without me having it on i didn't leave in the end yet and i'm not about to do that right now so this is a top up close it's cute or whatever i think i'm gonna actually get some wear out of this because i do think it's actually cute okay so yeah but now i'm going to make like a cropped like a crop a crop more cropped and a little looser version of that but i have two options i don't know what yarn to use so i could go like with a pastel kind of um like a, a pastel cupcake -y theme i have these colors the like I would use I'm thinking of doing like checkerboard um type type ish yeah I think I want to do something like checkerboard it so these would be one thing and I would put it on my Instagram I said I'm put my Instagram right here for y'all I would put it on my Instagram like a poll but it's like 10 o'clock and I want to start this now and I don't want to wait for people to actually like vote and stuff so or i could do like an aqua vibe which like i'm not gonna lie i i've done this motif before i feel in other things but i just love blues and greens together so i would it look better with like an off-white or in a stark white off-white make it look like more swampy and then white white make it look like I don't know but this could be like another so also loose different things but like yeah this is like another vibe so i'm still trying to figure out which color set i'm gonna do so yeah we'll see which one i pick i'm about to like look for some inspo and then figure out what which one i want to pick to start this other project i think i'm going to step out of my comfort zone and do the pastels so i'm gonna start it the pastels that's the niggas time. swear they passed us they doing too much haven't done my taxes i'm too turned up virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts niggas caught me slipping once okay so what someone hit the block up by tape it was us in a house in rosewood this shit too plush okay, so cool this is my first row and as you can see i'm doing different colors for every 10 stitches which is like this six different balls of yarn that's here that could get tangled very easily when i like do this back and forth to turn back and forward to go back and forth in the rows so yeah i'm complicating this for myself because i don't want to do um like the tapestry method or is it but where you drag the the string along because i'm doing um double crochets and that works best when you're doing tight stitches so you don't see the string coming along but and and then again I'm, there's six colors on each row so i'm not going to like buy this and drag six colors across you know what i'm saying like that's gonna be too bulky and it's gonna make the project stiff so i'd rather just have it like light and airy so it's gonna be a lot of tangling so let's see how working on a weekend like usual way off in the deep end like usual niggas swear they passed us they doing too much haven't done my taxes i'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit the block up, I tell you if it was us Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush Say my day's a number, but I keep waking up No, you see my text, baby, please say something Wine by the glass, man, a cheapskate, huh? 
niggas gotta move on my release day so i'm starting my other like cube this is really looking like va baby vomit right now oh my god what am i doing um i'm really not jacking this um but i'm gonna continue i'm gonna continue because um i already started and i'm not i'm trying to see how much i could do in 12 hours so that's that's exactly what i'm gonna do i'm gonna continue this project because i'm trying to get rid of this yarn anyway and this is like the most efficient way to get rid of this yarn it's just to clump it up by colors and make something multicolored. so that's what i'm really trying to do so it's Wait, I started at two, not one, right? I started at two. I have two miles left. So this is what I have so far, and I hate it. I hate this. Like it's so ugly. Um, I don't feel any passion. Like I don't. I don't want to do this. I'm scrapping this shit. I'm gonna do a different project. Ah, <sighs> y'all, this weather really kicking my ass right now, but. I'm gonna start a different project because I don't want to do that anymore. It's just, it's not it for me. So I feel like I wasted my time, but it's okay. I'm not about to keep wasting my time. It was something that I have no interest doing. Where's my scissors? So yeah, I just checked back on the video and I started at one, but um, so yeah, I have an hour left and I'm going to just um, start over. Very Bitch, this is fame, not clout. I don't even know what that's about. Watch your mouth. Maybe got an ego twice the size of the crib. I can never tell the shit it is what it is. Said what I had to and did what I did. Never turn my back on every beat. God forbid. Heard you got the paddock on my wrist. Doing front flips. Giving you my number, but don't hit me on no dumb shit. Working on the weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit the block up, I tell you if it was us Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush It's cool, Y'all, it's 1am and the challenge is officially done Surprised that I got through it, cause I was, um like earlier today, I was like, I don't know if I could do this, but I did it. So I'm gonna do a recap of what I made. First, I made this sweater vest, which I really like. Cute. And um, I started on this little vest I wanted to make, but I decided that I hated these colors and I never want to see them again in my life. <laughs> so. So then I started breaking up this, which I really like. So I'm gonna just put this together to show y'all. Like that's how what else I did. But um, I'm gonna decide. I'm gonna do a podcast of like a crochet and knit podcast. So I'm gonna start doing that. So y'all gonna see this in the podcast. Thank you for going on this journey with me and all this. I might just stay up a little longer and do this because like when I was doing this, I had no motivation to do this. I'm like, oh, when is the time going to end? But this is like, I'm willing to stay up even longer to finish this because I actually love these colors. Like I'm inspired by these colors. I really like them in fall. I like my dark colors, my navies, burgundies, and like dark greens, like olive greens like this. I love this and I love like a navy blue and a dark green. I might do like um the the ends, the things in like a dark green like this. I think that looks so beautiful if I do the ribbing in a dark green. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you I love my green and blue combinations and I love my orange and pink combinations. Those are my favorite. And it seems like all my clothes are gonna be those colors cause it's so 
freaking cute Ooh, thank you for watching this thank you for watching my video make sure to like and subscribe for more crochet videos i know i look crazy right now um hopefully i'll do something like this again i don't think i'll ever do a 24 hour one honestly but hope maybe like when i get good with knitting i'll do one of these for knitting to see how much i can knit up compared to how much i could crochet up in a day and i'll probably try to do a sort of vest as well to see like how i could progress in it so that would be cool but yeah i'm definitely gonna have more crochet videos um and like knitting videos up on my channel so if you like that type of stuff make sure you subscribe and thank you for watching my craziness for 12 hours bitch this is fame not clout i don't even know what that's about watch your mouth Baby got an ego twice the size of the crib I can never tell the shit it is what it is